Hey, are you a tradie? Let's find out. Welcome all to a podcast dedicated to Canada's present and future skilled trade license holders, known here as tradies. Introducing STTO Talk, where tradies talk the trade life. STTO Talk is brought to you by stto.ca, your better start to the trades. As always, I'm your host, Guy La Rochelle, and in this episode 3, we'll be exploring the in-depth wares of the 10 skilled trades stto.ca is involved with. STTO Talk focuses on these 10 skilled trades that are interprovincial, meaning that with these you go where you want to go to work in Canada. They are as follows along with their National Occupation Code. Refrigeration Mechanic NOC 7313 Gas Fitter NOC 7253 Appliance Technician NOC 7332 Plumber NOC 7251 Electrician NOC 7241 Carpenter NOC 7271 Welder 72 56 motorcycle mechanic NOC 7334 auto service technician NOC 7321 and heavy equipment mechanic NOC 7312 where is trade life let's start with Work bases are where you report to before physical work starts. Work bases are also locations where the most thought is put into planning for a safe work event. All tradies present at these assessments have their specific trades risks mitigated and all required assessments completed. Let's continue with work sites are where field level hazard assessments are filled out by workers before starting any work. These work locations also have multiple levels of management to deal with. These locations have many procedures and work practices along with all of the hazard assessments that must be followed Another important where, location environments are always to be considered before work starts. Extreme heat, cold, sound, or light are just one aspect 
of self-preservation preparation required. Some have described to me the wildlife encounters they've had throughout their careers. Communications must always be well tested in advance to determine its effectiveness in the work environment. Let's continue with work sites or work bases use different applications of skilled labor. They are in-house and sourced. In-house skilled labor provides for the skill within the workplace to get transferred easily from one skilled trade generation to another. Sourced skilled trade provides the greatest variety of work assignments for any tradie. Another important where tradies working for unionized employers are able to learn new skills or get involved in other activities for advancing their knowledge. An understanding of the rules of the union are very important though. Becoming a union safety rep is a part of keeping tradies safer and returning home at the end of their shifts. Let's continue with duration of work contracts is a phrase applicable to unionized workers as their work conditions are negotiated. Non-unionized workers have no reason to limit the duration of employment of any tradie other than the lack of work for their skills. Many tradies have worked both unionized and non-unionized positions throughout their careers. Another important where, tradies working non-union employment are provided a very special, specific experience where it is more like a family environment than like they have had anywhere else. The working as a team also is more prevalent in a non-union environment. A very important where work sites are in every province. Tradies can start from the East Coast and retire in the West Coast. That's what the treaty trade life is in Canada. And just as important, home and family are to where treaties have the option of going where they can to get involved in a home or in a family. This has been mentioned in the treaties world as a whole life where all aspects of a treaty involves their family.
That's a wrap of episode three. The deeper of the where of the tradey trade life. On future episodes of STTO Talk, we will be going deeper into each of the other W's and we also will be introducing interviews with different tradies and an aspect of their trading life they will let us know about. Keep your tools and thoughts clean, your mind alive and awake. See you on the next one. STTO Talk, out.